Everyone has a heart that's continuously beating and pumping blood to the whole body to keep us alive. But every year, about 17.9 million people in the world lose their lives because of heart disease. That means 34 people will die every minute. What if I tell you we can create many mini hearts that can be used for repairing the failing heart in the patient? In the Department of Chemical Engineering at Auburn, we use stem cells that originate from adult skin or blood cells and put them inside small hydrogel spheres using a special device we designed. Hydrogel is a type of biomaterials that feels similar to jelly and works like houses for cells to live in. With some biological treatment, the stem cells will grow into a mini heart that's beating and similar to a native heart. The doctors can inject those mini hearts into a patient's heart to repair the damaged part. To produce the mini hearts, we first prepare hydrogel solution and mix it with the stem cells. Then we'll set up a specially designed production system that uses microfluidic technology. Like its name, this technology gives us the ability to handle a very small amount of liquid in a precise way, so we can control the size and shape of the hydrogel solution droplets that will turn into mini hearts. As you can see, once the microfluidic system starts running, it will generate small hydrogel droplets that contain the stem cells. When the droplets are traveling in the microfluidic device, a chemical reaction will happen inside the hydrogels and turn them into solid but soft hydrogel beads. The production process is very fast. We can produce around 4,000 hydrogel beads with 16,000 cells in each of the beads. After the production, we'll put them in an incubator which provides a similar environment as in a human body so they will grow and turn into mini hearts. Besides this, we can also use this technology in drug testing. The mini hearts can respond to drug treatment similarly to real hearts and the drug companies can test as many drugs as possible very efficiently and safely before testing them on animals or real patients. 